All right, so welcome back from the break. And uh, again, before we went to break, we have Alex Armstrong, the owner and head coach of the Pembroke Lumber Kings with us today. And before the break, we were talking about how COVID affected your team and everything like that. So why don't we go a little bit more into that and start talking about um, the plans on hopefully restarting the season and uh, how anything you've heard about that and how that's going to fruition there. Well, like, like everybody else, we hope it soon, hopefully it starts sooner, sooner rather than later. But I think uh, the reality is we just have to go by whatever the provincial government says and then hope for the numbers continue to go down and we get back into it. And I guess uh, we can start playing hockey in an orange orange area. And, uh, you know, for, for us, like the rest of the teams, um, we were supposed to start up, um, you know, in January, but then there was a lockdown. Uh, January 18th, I, I believe, it was supposed to be lifted. Uh, they extended the lockdown to February 18th. Um, so again, uh, we're ready to go as soon as the lockdown's lifted and we're able to play. I think Kevin Abrams has done an outstanding job as, as far as uh, having a game plan set up uh, for when, you know, when we're able to, to get going, we're, we're, we're ready to go. It's uh, not a matter of getting a game plan set up for, for you know, after it's, it's already started. We're ready to go and uh, ever, COVID allows us to. So in getting ready to go back, you know, how how did that formulate? Did, did, I, I'm assuming you guys probably still had training camp this summer or there's no training camp this year. What happened with that? We had training camp. We, 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 we brought the kids in in August. Like I said, they, they've been off the ice six, seven months. And I think uh, bring them back, get them back to some normalcy and, and, and get them back into the routine. Um, you know, we were hoping to begin October 1st again, uh, if, if the numbers would allow us to, we would have started October 1st. Like I said, uh, the league had us all set up. All the teams were prepared to go. Uh, kids were all on camp. Uh, they were looking forward to it. And, uh, you know, uh, the numbers wouldn't allow us to. And we say, okay, October 1st, and it's, uh, you know, <laughs> November 1st. I mean, you can only cry well so many times to these kids. I mean, <laughs> it's their passion and their love. And, uh, you know, they look forward to that date. And, and then all of a sudden, no, you, you can't do it. we got to wait another three weeks. And, uh, it's, it's hard on them, it's hard on everybody, it's hard on all small businesses. Um, but you know what, hopefully, uh, you know, after you know, February 18th that uh, we're able to go and that's, that's all we can do is hope for the best and when it allows us, we'll be ready to go. Have you heard yet what is hockey going to look like once everything, everything reopens? Are people going to be able to sit in the stands and watch hockey or is it all going to be you know, relying on networks like us to tabulize the, the, the games? I think that's provincial. Provincial, again, that's provincial guidelines, right? Uh, mm -hmm. If Ohio has 50% capacity, then then it's 50% capacity. And 25% capacity, whatever the case may be, uh, uh, we, we gladly accept it. I think uh, for the most part, uh, we'll rely on, you know, guys like yourself, Kojiko, and other, and other uh radio stations to air our games and, and get it out to the, to the viewers that are missing uh, missing our hockey as much as we are. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah. we're going to wait and see. You know, the NHL is out of fans right now. So um, <laughs> I think, uh, you know, for us to get back right away and see, yeah, we're allowed 25% capacity. I think uh, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. I think for us, it's just to get back to playing the game we love and get the kids back on the ice. And uh, you were talking about possibly uh, a tentative date of like say the 18th of February. So you were saying before that you guys have had no hockey, nothing. So how is that going to look? Have you been talking with, like, I guess with, with Mr. Abrams and the other owners and coaches, if you're allowed to come back on the 18th, are you guys going to get like some like a mini training camp? You're going to go do a little bit of practicing when games, would, is it a couple weeks before games start? How does that look? I think, uh, like I said, we have, we have a Zoom call every Monday, uh, you know, the the owners are all, all in the Zoom call of GMs. Uh, we've uh, we really stayed in tune to what's going on. Like you said, Kevin's done an outstanding job mm -hmm. of, of having us prepared to play when we're able to. So um, when we have a training camp two, three weeks, uh, no, I think, uh, you know what, a, a week of practice maximum and, and we'll get back to playing. I think uh, as far as having a league goes, that's probably out the window, but <laughs> we want to showcase, showcase games for so we can promote these kids, whether it's to, you know, Division one hockey in the States or CIS or major junior. Yeah. Uh, we got to get these kids back to playing games. So people have an opportunity to take a peek at them. Definitely. I'm sure everyone still has been playing hockey. It seems this year when I look through my Facebook feed and everything else, 
absolutely everyone's building a rink this year. Yeah. Everyone, we have one. Yep. We never made one before. It's, <laughs> it's like right. a new thing of this year. Yeah, People are right. getting out there, play hockey, try to cope through, yeah. you know, this COVID lockdown 2.0, I guess exactly. I want to call it. Well, I'm sure all the players are trying to keep themselves in the best shape they can and get themselves ready to play in that. So, I mean, I'm sure that's, that's the, I know we're waiting for hockey, that's for sure. And hopefully we'll be there filming it very soon. Um, I can't say about the outdoor rinks because, you know, with the stay-at-home order, I mean, a lot of kids uh, in general, not only you know, the players, but they're out in the outdoor rinks playing hockey, you know, with mm -hmm. the stay-at-home order. Uh, you better have a rink in your backyard if you want your kids to play hockey or, uh, yep. or they're out of luck, right? So I think, the, like you said, the uh, majority of the population that were, were able to, to try and build a rink in their backyard, weather pending, mind you, I think we all know what that's like. So <laughs> they had that opportunity, uh, I think they did so, so. Um, very fortunate considering the situation we're in.